Greetings to all the guys and gals out there from Winston. Okay, so this is going to be a quick and dirty video uh, showing the use of node templates and how you can effectively use it as a modular workflow system. So for those of you that don't know, within Comfy UI, you have something called node templates. This allows you to take any number of nodes you want so let's uh, select all three of these and then if you right click on the canvas outside of the selected nodes you have this option here to save selected as template if you do that and then give it a name and then I'm going to delete these And at any point then in your workflow, you can just right click on the canvas, come down to node templates and select the relative one. And there you go. And what I like to do at this point, whilst I've still got them all selected, is right click again and add group for selected nodes, just to make it easier to move them all around together. So I say very simple and it's a great way if you're doing your own workflow of, of module, modularizing it. That's not easy to say when you haven't got your teeth in. All right, let's delete this. And then let's load up my uh, basic generation based around LCM. So say add group and the only reason I do that is it just makes it so much easier to move around so I say this is my uh, basic LCM generation workflow uh, which has been an absolute godsend for me on a 1080 Ti yes it's got 11 gig of VRAM but it's not exactly the speediest one in the world uh, SDXL image generation at the size I've got selected here, 896 by 1152, would normally have taken around about 65 to 70 seconds. And if I click on Q prompt here, I'm actually, and this is a cold start, so it will take a little bit longer because it just loads up the model. And this LCM method only in five steps produces in my opinion some really nice images and there we go that was 19.69 seconds on a cold start and if I run it again it should come down to about the 12 second mark or it would do if I didn't have it on fixed let's increment that run it again one two three four and five steps and done so that's 13.98 seconds so I say that's one element of this that's my uh, basic generation sequence now let's say I want to add in um, an IP adapters input to this. Now if I zoom out, now if I come over to a blank bit of canvas somewhere so I don't uh, load this up on top of what I've already got, I'm going to right click, click on node templates again, and I'll add in a simple IP adapters, and again add the group so I can drag it around now this does seem require a little bit of knowledge of where to plug where things plug in um, I've left some notes to remind myself so in this particular case I want to take the model so the first place the model goes into uh, from the load checkpoint is into my apply LoRa stack so I want to move that to the model input 
and then I want to take this model and plug that back into the applied LoRa spec and then choose a file to upload so if I pick an image let's pick this young lady and then Q prompt um, so this is applying an IP adapter with a strength 0 0.75 using the SDXL Is the image that's coming out the other side. Okay, just that easy to add in a, a quick one like that. Now, let's say I want to use what I call Poor Man's Laura. Let me just remove these, remove this group. Now, normally, if you're doing this, you'd have to remember to. Uh, plug your model back in over here otherwise things won't work ask me how I know so let's just come over to a blank space no templates poor man's Laura add a group and I've got the images already selected here again similar sort of thing take the model bring it over to the apply IP adapter model input and then take that back to where it was originally connected and then generate your image okay so that's one step two steps three steps four steps five steps and there's my output image now you might decide at this point oh I, I want to apply some sort of uh, I want to apply an upscale onto this so again what I've got is I've got a uh, where are we an upscaler routine saved as a template And in this particular case, it's a case of plugging in the images to the correct place. Now, from my workflow, I know I need to bring it from this face restore step into the pixel upscale one. I need to drag the VA down, zoom out a bit. This, by the way, is my default uh, desktop view when I'm working with any of this uh, comfy UI stuff. Okay, so let's bring the VAE down, connect that up. I'm going to bring the conditioning across, positive and negative. And in this case, um, because I want to keep using the LCM method for the upscaler as well, I'm going to bring the model over from this free view node because that's the last place that it goes to before it goes into the K sampler. So there you go, you can see there, if I go from the K sampler, it highlights and click on the dot, it highlights the node it goes to. So I'm gonna take that model, connect it up there. Let's just zoom out a little. Uh, generate my image with upscale this will take a little bit longer because obviously of, of the upscale even with using LCM so that's the five st steps of the uh, standard generation done and now we're running to a pixel upscale so that's a one a one times upscale using this art clarity uh, upscaler which I like to use and then I do a second pixel upscale using a four times before downscaling it to give me an overall two times but rather than having to put in decimals and stuff up here the way I've written this is you can just enter in the um, final upscale value down here and it does the math for you so anyway that's uh, 
chucked it into the case ampler. And that's running through the five steps on the case ampler. I mean, this is a little bit slower at this stage because obviously the uh, encoded image going into the case sampler is uh, is a lot larger because it's now four t it's currently two times the original size okay so that's two steps done three steps done uh, again bear in mind this is all being run on a 1080 ti uh, six in fact nearly seven year old card now the last step done so it's just decoding it this is a, a tile decoder it's a little bit quicker and more memory efficient there you go and then that's the upscale done so you say no template, a very simple way to uh, plug in extras to a standard workflow and then build it up for what you need for that particular occurrence. Uh, I mean, for argument's sake, I won't demo this, but if I wanted to plug in a control net, uh, add group bring this over now in this particular case I want to bring the positive over from here and the negative into there and now I want to take the positive out from there plug it into the case ampler and the same with the negative and that's my uh, control net module plugged in. Uh, if I wanted to add a second control net module, all I have to do is no templates. Uh, control net, add group, bring this up over here somewhere. Now take the input from this side drop it in on the second one drop it in on the second one and then take these two back to the case sampler and the other thing finally before I uh, say good evening to you all is I always get the question how do I get the straight lines it's really easy click on the little gear icon come down to link render mode and change it to whatever you want so that's the default which is the spaghetti that you all know and love uh, most of the time if I'm not doing development work I actually prefer to run it in in mode but straight works for me the rest of the time right cheers guys